Beautiful, beautiful. The example that you just shared happened to every CEOs, and she, you know she was the one that you know really made the change to her leadership team by you know letting them to decide when they want to meet and what in 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 what way they want to meet with her. Right. So it's amazing. I've, and I I love to share that story. Thanks a lot for doing that because that's really tell us to rethink about how we've been thinking and doing right and that is a prime example of that go to the last question for this conversation today which is the biggest question also michelle and it's about you all right you are one of among the the best thinker in the world all right and uh, we want to understand the secrets of your thinking so how have you been helping you to improve your ability to think over the years? Oh, that's such a great question. Well, first of all, thank you. I'm humbled. Thank you so much for, for your compliment. I'm very fortunate to be a part of 100 Coaches. And one of the things that that organization did for me personally that, that helped me think, rethink, and grow as a leader, as a coach, just as a human, is, is we embedded time for meaningful community and connection with each other. So mm -hmm. on Mondays, we get together just for one hour all over the world. We zoom in with our leader, Marshall Goldsmith, and he picks a topic to talk about. And, and he talks about in the very beginning, then we go into breakout groups and, and we collaborate and share ideas. And that has, has such a profound impact on me that I now try to put together community groups where I am in New Orleans. So I'll give you an example. I had people over, I had moms over um, at my house for a coffee before Christmas. And one of the things that we were struggling, all of us were, we were struggling, we were all brand new empty nesters. And our kids had just started college. And so they had just come home from college and we were just thrilled to see them. Yeah. And yet we had been silently suffering that all of us had been really struggling with that loss of, of that identity of, oh my gosh, what, I can't, where, am I not a mom anymore? I don't have a kid to parent, they're off at college and it's this whole rethinking of your role, you know, in the world and your purpose. And, and yet a lot of us were suffering alone and silently and so when we all came together and, and it just was such a relief to say oh my gosh you feel like that too wait i didn't think you felt like that and then we we agreed we made a commitment we're going to get together and we're going to form a little community of moms who just became empty nesters so we can support one another and i'm trying to do more and more i've, I've put together a, a group of women supporting women in business because mm -hmm. what i have found is that we do need connection and for some reason, and of course we know why, just coming out of the pandemic, we're just not embedding as much time as we used to for true connection with others. But when you say, I am going to build this community of like-minded people, like 100 coaches that I get to, you know, every Monday morning, I get to have an, a really stimulating conversation about a topic that's applicable to my world, and we brainstorm. That is brilliant for my thinking and my rethinking and my innovation, right? I just think we need to bring people's, people um, together who are facing similar issues. I think we need more community mm -hmm. and I think we need more connection, but, but we've got to do it, yeah. right? We've got to take the step and initiate because there are so many people silently suffering, thinking that they're alone and we need to bring people together. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks a lot for doing that. And uh, you guys are amazing. We really admire all the works that, that you guys are doing from this part of the world. So thanks a lot for doing that. Please keep sharing a lot more with us so that we can learn from you and, and, and the group you've been doing, okay? Oh, thank you so much. And I can't wait to read your book. It's what a beautiful project to, for you and your wife to come together and A, to have a podcast, to B, ask guests on and ask really good questions and then C, to compile it together so that we all can learn from each other. Thank you for putting that out in the world. Thank you very much, Michelle. Have a wonderful evening and uh, say hello to your other ones first, please. I will. You too. Take care. Take Thanks, care. everybody. Thanks to all the listeners. Mm -hmm.